can my child actually develop OCD after having strep throat? Can you talk a little bit about this, Dr. Sportelli? Yes, so the, the answer is yes. And this is actually something called PANDAS, P-A-N-D-A-S. And it's not the cute fuzzy ones from China. This stands for, it's an acronym, it stands for Pediatric Acute Onset Neuropsychiatric Syndrome Associated with Strep. What happens here is that families and parents notice that their child suddenly develops symptoms of OCD. So obsessions, compulsions, anxieties, tics, similar to Tourette's syndrome, surrounding a strep infection. So for many years, this has been a very controversial diagnosis. Many doctors didn't really believe in it or would just kind of say, this doesn't exist. But what happens here is a foreign antigen, strep, attacks the body, and it's a strep throat infection, right? This anti antigen looks like the self to the body's immune system. So the body's immune system makes antibodies to beat up this foreign invader, but guess what it's doing? It's actually attacking the cells of the body in an autoimmune fashion. In this case, it's in the brain, causes mild inflammation in certain areas, and causes these symptoms. What's the best way to go about addressing it? So the most important thing is if your child suddenly develops symptoms of OCD, anxiety, tics, personality changes that seem to surround a recent strep infection, make sure you go see your pedi uh, pediatric provider quickly because you want to treat this. In most cases, guys, OCD is something that is chronic. It comes on gradually. It lasts a really long time. In these cases, the very big difference is it comes on immediately, like literally overnight, all of a sudden the child is experiencing these incredible symptoms, which is a very stark contrast to how they were behaving previously. Now, in most cases, when the infection goes away, the symptoms also go away. This is not something super common, is it, Dr. Sportelli? How often might this occur? You know, it's really not super common at all. You know, the numbers that I've reviewed and have seen were somewhere around between one out of 200 kids that experience a strep infection. But don't forget, it could be very mild behavioral changes too. So it's very, very hard to really get an accurate number. The truth is we don't see it very often at all.